Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm in the car again, I hope you don't mind. But today is Saturday and I thought I would take you on my day a little bit. I'm on my way to Costco right now, so I need to just pick up a few things there. Um, and I just thought I'd take you along. I have a few things that I need to do around the house for kind of like a Sunday reset. I'm starting today because I found that I really like to like do nothing on Sunday afternoons. And so I've been starting like my Sunday reset Saturday night and finish it Sunday morning and then I just do nothing the rest of the day. And I have found it to be very productive and very lovely for myself. Anyway, I did get a new car from my last video. If you saw, I was kind of talking about that. Um, and I'm grateful that it all worked out perfectly. Um, also, I had a really scary experience yesterday. And so I just want to remind you, always listen to your gut. Um, especially when you have teenagers, okay? Just, just take my word for it and listen to your gut. Um, this, this new kid showed up at football workouts and um, the kids had been talking about him. They'd been like kind of inviting him to things and stuff. Well, yesterday I met him for the first time and I immediately had a bad feeling and our night unraveled rather quickly and I I just like I just know that like when your gut is telling you something just listen to it because um, it was crazy so if you have teenagers if you don't even have teenagers I just am like a firm believer in listening to your gut and if it's telling you to do something or not to do something just listen to it and I think it was a very like great opportunity for me and my kids because I had told them um, that I had a bad feeling and then how it all how everything all unraveled like they're like my mom my mom knows <laughs> so anyway just a PSA but let's get this day going and let's go to Costco okay I did a terrible job with not filming in Costco but it was, I don't know what I was thinking, Saturday in the afternoon, you know, if you know, you know. So, I'm just going to show you what I bought, and um, that's what we're going to do instead, okay? So, we have a watermelon, which if you know how to pick a good watermelon, please let me know. I've done all of the, like, things that I've seen on Instagram and TikTok and Pinterest and I'm still struggling to find a good one. So this time I the lady said pick the greenest like the darkest green that has a little spot on it and that the stripes are two finger width apart. That's what I'm going off on this one. We're gonna hope for the best. I haven't really I've only gotten one good one all year. So that's frustrating. Especially when they're like nine dollars for one. Um I have boys, teenage boys, that are trying to gain weight, so muffins from Costco, if you know, you know. Um, we got some croissants, eggs, lots of eggs we go through. Um, even though I have teenagers, I still buy the applesauce because they like it and eat it. Um, chocolate milk, two of these because, again, teenage boys trying to gain weight. Um, these, if you haven't tried, are heavenly. The Thin Mint Bites, oh, and the coconut ones are also good. Another thing that don't buy unless you wanna be naughty, because these are very good. The kids, my kids love these. I don't love them. They're the dark chocolate acai and blueberry flavors. I don't, I don't love them, but they do. So we bought them. That was a treat. That was a splurge for today. If you haven't tried the Costco um, chicken salad, you're missing out. It's delicious. And when you have teenagers at home during the summer, croissants and this, and they can eat it every day for lunch is perfect. 
we got some grapes and strawberries and i buy this at costco every like month or so maybe two months um and that's it that's all i have for today this was a pretty small little haul i would i'm wondering now what do you think this cost me groceries are so ridiculous right now that i'm just curious what you think it cost anyway that is my costco haul so now we need to put it away i told you at the beginning of the video i just had some like things that I wanted to get done today so that I didn't have to do them tomorrow to help with that. And so I, number one, I want to um, clean out my fridge and start my laundry, take my bed, my sheets off my bed, and um, I want to vacuum and mop and clean my bathroom. So do you remember when the YouTube people used to do like, what did they used to call it? Something hour? I can't remember, but I have about an hour before the boys um, seven on seven football game tonight. And so I wanna see how much I can get done um, of all my to-do list before then. So let's see if we can do it. This is a side note. This is like me trying to motivate you. So if you need to get something done, let's start start our clocks and see how long it takes us i'm actually gonna start a timer um it is 5 15 right now you can see on there i need to be at the football field at 6 30. so i literally only have an hour so let's start the clock and let's see if we can get all of the things that i want to get done done so let's start it okay
Okay, I wanted to like just tell you a little bit about my thought process here. So this was left over from last week's Costco haul. I just didn't get around to cooking it because um, we had a really crazy busy week last week. And so anyway, um, I usually do like a week, maybe two week Costco. And then I just supplement with some things from Walmart. So I still need to buy a few things um, for the week, but I don't like a full, like I don't like a full fridge. I obviously still need to wash and cut these up. Um, sometimes I just wash them and the kids eat them. Sometimes I don't, sometimes they wash them. Just depends on what I have um, time for. I'm not really picky. I'm just, I just got food in here for a bunch of kids to eat and I feel like that's good enough. So you might wondering what are all of these? So I have a really terrible habit and um, I start drinking these and I never finish them. So I just put them in the, the thing and then I buy another one or I get another one or something. So I will end up drinking these at some point. Um, it's a terrible habit I have, but that's, that's just who I am. So anyway, um, I will put in a grocery order tonight from Walmart and it'll be delivered here tomorrow just for a few things that we'll need for the week for dinners for, and then um, that's all for this.
been meaning to share this bowl with you guys. Look at how cute it is. It's got the scalloped edge. It's pretty big. Um, it is a recent find from the good old Hobby Lobby. I have not found anything there in a long time, but when I saw this, and the best part, it was $10.99. Like, I feel like Hobby Lobby is getting so overpriced, but this was such a good deal. I love it on my um, table. I have had uh, faux florals in here, not faux, excuse me, real florals in here that I've cut from the yard and stuff. And I just put a vase inside of here and then um, it looks so cute. Kind of like the one on my island. Even um, if you guys need like a really good, like you want fresh uh, florals in your house, but you don't want to like break the bank. I don't know what these are called. So if you do, let me know. But they literally last forever. And I just have them in this bowl. But even those in here, just so cute, right? I love it. So these, anyway, I've had this same plant for probably three weeks now and there's still like new buds on here. Um, so I just give it a good drink of water every few days and it's lasting forever. When I was at Walmart last week, I bought a few pillows. I bought this blue one. It's like a grayish blue, but it is so cute. And then I bought this uh, plaid one. It's kind of green on one side and cream on the other. And I also bought this one. And I'm just gonna like throw these on my couch. I um, also have a new pillow. I don't think I've showed you guys. I bought a few weeks ago from um, TJ Maxx when I was there uh, in a different in a different state, but I'll show you that one. But before I do, I want to show you this one we just got yesterday at TJ Maxx. It's for my daughter's room and it has little bows on it. Is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen? I adore it. The next one is this one. This one also was from TJ Maxx. It is very cute. Um, it came with a down insert, which you know I love. And so I think I'm gonna switch everything up to this like green and blue and get rid of the pink that I've had on here. Just, just for a little summer refresh. Um, I believe that all these pillows I got from uh, Walmart would be perfect for fall as well. So let's, let's style the couch. I do need to take all of the um, tags off, but I'm not gonna do that right this minute because I'm running out of time. But I will take this tag off. I'm probably gonna switch up the, um, the uh, inserts in those, but look at how cute that is. And I think it's cute. I'm just gonna, I'm not sure that that, this green blanket is the perfect blanket for it, but I don't hate it. So we're gonna go with it. So I have, I'm going going 41 minutes and I remembered what these videos were called. They're called like power hour. So I've got 20 minutes and I still need to start my sheets in the washer and um, mop and vacuum the living room. So let's see if we can get it done.
Okay, so in my last video, I told you guys about that TikTok like viral laundry concoction. We've tested it twice now, and it is as good as they say that it is. My daughter has washed both sets of her sheets like it, and her room smells so good. So I wanted to wash mine. All you're going to do is you're going to get this rinse and refresh ocean mist scent, and you're going to put it in your... Fill up your fabric softener, um, little spot, like that. I got the Gain um, Moonlight Breeze little pods. Um, I just prefer to use laundry soap like this, but you could get the other as well. And then you're supposed to use some of the scent beads, and this is also the Ocean Myth. Also, the ocean mist scent. And then, um, that's it. That's all you do. And then when you dry them, you use the Gain um, Laundry Sheets, the Moonlight Breeze. So, if you want to try it out, I highly recommend it. I, we're not sure if we would like wash our everyday clothes with this concoction, um, but definitely our sheets and towels so i'm gonna go ahead and get this started right before i start my washer i want to show you guys these laundry um glass bins that i got at walmart as well <gasps> aren't they so cute so right now i have these ones and they still have these ones available i've had mine for several years now and in here i keep my laundry pods like my like these things and in the smaller one i keep the um, like these scent beads and so I was going to um I have these with my oxyclean down here so I was thinking I'm going to put my oxyclean in one of these and um I might switch out my pods for this one I can't decide yet but I will definitely show you guys when I um put all this together I just don't have time to do that right now so we're just we're getting we're getting our Sunday reset stuff checked off and this is just kind of the fun stuff but I did want to show that with you share that with you I also picked up this little guy he came with the garbage can let me let me get it for you I also picked up these um, this is the trash bin this is like for laundry sheets it goes on the side of your dryer and then it has the lint brush which i actually really needed one of these so happy to have that and then this is for your lint and you just pop it on the side of your dryer and you're good to go i think all of this stuff is so cute and uh, so affordable I wanted to show you guys this pillow in Ainsley's room. It looks so cute on her um, little basket that I got at TJ Maxx when I got my pillow upstairs. But look at how cute this basket is. You know I love a good scallop. This is like a Serena and Lily dupe. It was it was like, I think the ones from Serena and Lily are like $400. This one was 60 so I could not pass it up and it actually looks really cute in here and is the perfect size um i want to share some things that we've been working on in her room like i told you this room is just like slowly coming together but last weekend maybe was it last weekend i don't even know if you're gonna be able to really tell from this video but we put some wallpaper up in her room it is so cute it's very light um and it's we're gonna we're working on some of cute little cork boards for her we recently got these frames at the target dollar spot they're so cute anyway this this is just a work in progress room but it's starting to come together and i just wanted to show you guys that really cute basket because it was a still 
vac or vacuum and mop. I have shared my um, vacuum mop with you guys before from Ultinec, and I am still completely obsessed with this. I use it literally twice a week, and I just I just cannot get enough of it, and I can't say good enough things about it. I love it. And especially for like the price, I can't even remember what the price is, but I'll have it linked in the, in the description box. It is well worth every single penny. I loved it so much, they reached out to me again and asked me if they could send me their new cordless vacuum. And I'm, I have like pretty much stopped using cordless vacuums because they just were not working for me. They, the bat, it's, and it's not that like they're not good in like the performance of the vacuum, like sucking and all of that. It's not that, it's the battery life. If I can't vacuum my whole house at one time without the battery going dead, I don't want it. And I have bought two, um, a Shark and a Dyson and I took them back and I got a plug-in shark. I've been using this for about two weeks now and upstairs all of my floors are hardwood floors and so obviously I can use this on them but I use this one on them but I have a lot of rugs. I have rugs in under my table, in my living room, in the entryway, in the hallway. All of the bedrooms and basement are carpet so I was happy to give this a little whirl and I want you to know that it does get my approval. I do really like it. And I can vacuum my whole entire house with it. It's kind of similar to this one where it has the um, screen up here. Let me see. And it has different settings. So you can do like turbo, eco, so that kind of saves the battery life. If maybe you're just doing like hardwood floors. But I wanted to just show you guys, tell you that I love it. They have graciously offered you guys $35, per, or $35 off, making this $144, $144. I, you can't beat it, you, you literally cannot beat it. It also has this green eye light that works so good. Um, if you have a dog, she will go crazy because my dog does go crazy, but, um, like I said, I just vacuumed my entryway um, mat and my bathroom. And I did this yesterday because um, I have to vacuum my bathroom every day because I shed so much. Anyway, I wanted to just share that with you and thank them for offering, like gifting me this. This video is not sponsored by them. However, um, this was gifted and I really appreciate it because I love it. And that is why I like to share things with you guys that I absolutely love because even though it's $144 and you spend your hard earned money on it and you don't like it, then I'm going to feel bad. So I'm only going to suggest things that I really love for you, love to you. So let's, we got, we got to go, we got to hurry. We got to, um, mop and vacuum. And then I think we're done. Um, not everything is going to get done, but we're running out of time. Like I, like I said, it does suck pretty good. I'm just gonna empty this for you guys so you can see what I'm talking about. Oh, there we go. Gross. 
gross, right? So we are at a minute, or a minute, an hour and 14 minutes, so we're a little bit late, but I'm going to stop it here, and the only thing I have left to do is clean the bathroom, which will take me probably like 15 minutes, so I'll do that in the morning, and then all of my Sunday chores will be done. All right, all the work is done that we're gonna be able to get done, but before I go, I wanted to throw this in kind of at the end, so if you're not into this, you can just dip out and have a good day. But um, I've been like trying to read a lot more books I and I'm, I'm not anywhere near what most people are probably that are avid readers, but um, I wanted to share some books that I've read with you and then some books that I have I'm going to read. But my question is I want you to tell me what I should read because there's so many books and um, yeah, I'm just interested in to know what you like to read. I don't really like fantasy at all. So don't recommend anything like that, but I'm okay with pretty much everything else. So the last few books that I have finished, I just finished this one and loved it. It was just the cutest little story and um, I had just come off reading a book I didn't really care too much for. And so reading a book that I really loved and enjoyed. This is Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez. Love that one. I am gonna read more of her books. People on Instagram have recommended those to me. Um, I read this book. This is the third book in the series and the worst book of the series. So um, it was okay. It was very, very slow. And I preferred the other books the best. And I liked number two the best. So if you, I think you could read them all without reading all three of them. Um, but kind of disappointed in that one and I read The Inmate. And I had read The Teacher by Frieda McFadden, and that book was so disturbing to me that I had a hard time like picking up another one of her books, but this one was actually okay, and I really enjoyed it. Very, um, lots of twists and turns that happen in this book, so um, I do recommend it though, I love it. Uh, now for the books that I am going to read, I picked up The Woman in the Window. I guess this is a Netflix series, didn't know that. I don't watch much Netflix. So I'm gonna start this one soon. I can't decide which one I'm gonna start now or which one I'm gonna read first, but this book was the top recommended book to me on Instagram. So I'm like, it must be good. So I might read this one next. We're gonna just see how I feel. But if you're reading any good books or you're an avid reader, I'd love to know what you're um, loved and what you like want to read. Just give me all the details. I love it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of video, just kind of a mod podge of all the things going on. A little bit of home decor because I know that's what most of you are here for. So thanks for styling those things, a few things with me and let me share some new things. And I will link anything I can in the description box below if you wanna check it out. And until next time, me and this hair, we'll see you in the next video.